All right, guys. So today we're going to be looking at how to use this Resound Smart 3D app. So when you tap it, and after your hearing aids have been connected in the settings of your iPhone, you will be able to open up the app. You'll notice at the very bottom on that bar that there is a home, a status, a my resound, and a more. We're going to start over here on the right side where it says more and demo. And when you click that, it's going to bring you to this little screen right here. Right now, I'm in demo mode because I am I'm wanting to give you guys a full picture of what that app looks like. And so normally, when you have hearing aids connected, this demo mode will be off. If it was off and hearing aids were not connected, it'll bring up this screen right here. But we're going to close out of that and exit out. And we're going to exit back to demo just so I can give you guys a good pick of what's going on. Now, every once in a while, primarily when you first open the app, you're gonna notice that there is this um, icon that comes up or a badge that comes up that says Smart 3D would like to send you notifications. I don't necessarily um, think that the notifications are necessary, so I say don't allow. Then we are um, gonna start by talking about this this screen right here. So in this um, more tab down here, you're going to notice that there's just um, an option for guiding tips and auto activating favorite locations. We'll come back to that later. And then just the general information about the app that the app has to have. Down here, you'll click my resound. My resound is a component of the app where you can find the hearing aid if you have your location services on for the app and learning about the app, some little guiding tips and when to use what button. And then Resound Assist. This is the area of the app where you would go to request service to your hearing aids, like a remote adjustment that allows your audiologist to make an adjustment on your hearing aid settings in the software and then send it to your iPhone for you to update that hearing aid. So this just puts in a virtual request, the audiologist to make that request or complete that request, and then this is where you would go down to um, download that new setting for your hearing aid so you don't have to come into the office. Status shows are your left and right hearing aids connected to the iPhone and what that battery life is remaining. That's what those five little green dots indicate. Um, they indicate battery life. Of course, throughout the day, you'll notice that that battery life will start to go down. By the end of the day, it should never really be at zero, pending that you had a full charge when you initially opened up that app in the morning and turned your hearing aids on in the morning. The home screen, very left um, button on the left side of the screen down at the bottom, this is the bread and butter of the app. This is essentially the remote control for your hearing aids. So you'll notice that you have at the top now some icons. And these icons allow you, if you tap them, to switch between different programs or settings. You can scroll. If you have um, accessories, like to pair your um, hearing aids to the TV, you can switch between TV one and TV two. You can use a microphone or you can create your own settings. That is a little quick, quick guide up at the top up there. If you pull this little bar down, you'll notice that you, you're able to see all of those icons at once. Now, not everyone has four programs and streamers and favorites. Most people start out with uh, two programs and then they're added from there. We'll exit out of that. You'll notice that right now I'm in what's called favorite one. You can also swipe between your programs or settings. Most people, when they only have one or two, they just swipe over to the right or to the left. Now let's start with this all around program. This all around program is for your everyday listening environment. That could be at home, 
at your office, if you're communicating with one person and you seem to be doing fine. But if you get into an environment that's a little bit more noisy, where there's a lot of background noise presence, then that's when you'd want to swipe over to restaurant. Restaurant allows the hearing aids to go into a more directional microphone, so background noise is reduced and the hearing aids are focused on the sound coming from in front of you. So where you're facing is where the hearing aids are focusing on. You'll notice that in this restaurant program, there are three little tabs, noise filter, speech focus, and hear everyone. Noise filter, if you tap that, it kind of brightens up red. That reduces some more background noise, and you simply tap it to turn that off again. Speech focus makes the microphones in the hearing aid more directional. So it's even more focused to a narrow um, band kind of in front of you. That helps pick up some voices that might be just a little dull and you want them to be more sharp. And here, everyone, is for when you're in a noisier environment, say like at a round table um, or a bigger table at dinner, you've got people beside you and in front of you. That allows you to hear the people beside you as well as hearing people in front of you without having to hear that background noise. And then you tap it again to turn it off. Swipe over and we're going to look at all around again. So in all around, you have a noise filter tab that's going to reduce some background noise and then tap it to turn it off. And then speech clarity. This gives you a high frequency boost to allow for the higher pitch sounds of someone's voice to become more distinct and crisp and clear. You will tap it to turn it off. Now, if you look at this little slider bar right here that's changing this number on the screen, this is strictly your volume control. So if someone is a little quiet, um, you can turn them up a little bit. Or if someone's a little too loud for you, you can turn them down. There is a limit as to how high and how low you can go. Most people keep it right at that little tick mark. And this is right where you should be set. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice there is a little microphone with an arrow through it or a line through it. Tap that and that mutes the hearing aid. When you mute the hearing aid, it does not turn them off. It simply just mutes it. Um, so the hearing aids are not actively picking up sound and sending it to your ear. Tap it again and it will unmute the hearing aids. On the right of that little slider bar, you'll notice two little lines. This allows you to turn the volume up and down of each individual hearing aid. Now, if you only have one hearing aid, because some people do, then you will only ever see one bar. So this two bar um, for a right and left is only active if the hearing aids, if you have one for each ear. Sound enhancer down here, if you tap that, this is where you can go and make your own programs, okay? So you have bass, middle, and treble sounds or pitches. Those pitches um, can be adjusted to how you want to hear, and you can add it as a favorite down here at the bottom. Name it whatever you want, so you can make it say office and save. And after you have saved this setting that you would like, you can exit out at the top right. And you'll notice it is now at the very end of the slider bar where you are your own, where you've made your own programs. These little stars indicate programs that you have created on your own. To go back to your all around setting, once you leave your office for the day, you can slide to the top and hit all around. You'll notice that some of the programs have this little arrow at the top right of this big red box. That is for a tinnitus um, sound 
manager. If you hit that sound enhancer, you'll see there's the sound enhancer bar and the tinnitus manage manager bar. This allows you to control your uh, noise that you hear in the hearing aids for your tinnitus. Some hearing aids have this option um, added and some don't. If it's something that you think you might need in your hearing aids to help manage the tinnitus that you experience on a day-to-day -day basis, that's always something that can be added to your hearing aids. I'm going to exit out here. So that is a brief overview of the app. Should you have any other questions, do not hesitate to reach out to our office. Have a good day.